I want to stress that even though there are rules over there, Dubai is still very much one of the better cities in the world for tourists to experience. This is part two of what you should do and what you shouldn't do in Dubai so you don't get caught slipping. In game. Travel is my passion, passion, passion. PassportKings.com Your travel lifestyle will never be the same again. My name is Rock Land. I'm a travel advisor. I make Passport Kings travel videos to inform, review, and excite you about vacation destinations and other travel related information. If this is a topic you like, subscribe to Passport Kings and press the notification bell so you can always be in the know when I upload new content. If you noticed in my last video, each example of people getting in trouble with the laws over in Dubai were over a decade old. When I was in Dubai, I didn't have any issues. It will be all good for anyone visiting Dubai as long as you don't forget where you are. I truly think that right now you're going to have to go all the way out of your way actually trying to get locked up in this glitzy cosmopolitan city. And before you turn your nose up to Dubai, remember that there are still some very wacky laws on the books in these good old United States of America. Alright, so number eight is don't fly your drone. Something more recent to be aware of is flying a drone. The people of Dubai are serious about their privacy. I was pretty disappointed when I looked it up on Google and seen how strict they were. I had my drone with me. But as mentioned in part one, taking pictures of government and important buildings is against the law. With the drone, you practically can't miss a palace or a military facility. So I just kindly left mine packed away most of the time. Now the rest of this countdown will be actually telling you what you should do because I ran out of don'ts. Number seven, you should take an Uber. When you're coming from a nightclub or have been drinking at a restaurant, you really don't want to be staggering down the street headed back to your hotel. With a culture that really doesn't drink that much, the sight of someone who is extra lit can cause them some concern. Uber works just fine, and in Dubai they're fairly cheap. They also have only really fancy cars as Ubers. So be prepared to be picked up in a Bugatti or something over the top like that. Number six, remove your shoes if you're invited into someone's home. Drop your shoes off at the door. Many people, even in the States, prefer when you do this. Walking around outside all day then coming in and stepping on someone's carpet is just whack. In Dubai, they don't want to see the soles of your feet either. So have a fresh pair of socks on if you're invited for dinner, which will happen a lot. Number five, make sure the store you're heading to is open. Dubai has a lot of different traditions, and one of them is how they consider the weekend. Make sure wherever you're headed that you check in advance to make sure that they're still open, because they just might be closed. Now make sure you watch to the end of the video so you can download my ebook about how to make money in the travel industry. And if you haven't yet, subscribe and press the notification bell. Now let me ask you a question. I got a lot of comments from people who watched part one of this series that said, okay, well that's too strict and I'm never going to Dubai then. If you're one of those people who feel that way, please tell me which rules was the one that made you think that the trip is not worth it. To me, nothing I said was a deal breaker because I don't do the kinds of things that I mentioned on any trip to anywhere, so I'd love to read your responses. Now number four, do speak English. You'll be amazed that after flying almost 18 hours that you'll find some people who speak almost perfect English. In all countries, English is considered the language of money. Dubai is a city of money, so learning English is one of the first things they make sure they're able to do. They speak better English than some Americans I know. Number three, do know that the water is excellent. The first thing most Americans hear when leaving our shores is, Make sure you don't drink the water over there. This is not the case in Dubai. The filtration systems in Dubai is state of the art. Drinking Dubai's tap water is better than drinking bottled water. Your hotel may try to push bottled water on you because they know we don't even trust our own water in America. But for once, being nervous about water is not necessary. If you're not convinced, get bottled water that was bottled in Dubai. You will taste that it's superior than other imported bottled waters that come from other continents. Number two, cross at the green and not in between. <laughs> These people are driving high powered sports cars. While most drivers are used to that type of horsepower, many of them will wind up speeding without even realizing it. It sounds like common sense, but plenty of tourists have made this an urgent warning the hard way. My motto is lights don't kill people, cars do. After the light changes, you are still the one who has to make sure that nothing is flying your way before crossing. And number one is respect those chicks. The women of Dubai are all about their privacy. Well, except for the ladies of the night that we saw. 
But other than those women who will work in the oldest profession, the women of Dubai want to be treated very delicately. They're very much in tune with being feminine. So only touch them if they invite you to. And don't yell at them or be rude. They will definitely return the favor. Now I want to give a shout out to the Strange Dimension. It's strange. That's my nephew's game channel. Sir Streezy does streams, latest info, and video game reviews. He's also a super producer at Attack Productions, where I get a lot of my music from. He always shows me so much support online and in reality, and I want to say thanks. His YouTube link is popping up now, so go show him some love if you like gaming. Now stop being stingy and send me some of them new fire beats. Anyway, be respectful of the people in any city where you visit. Most humans are quick to return the respectful gestures. The people of Dubai are no different than anywhere else in the world. Don't write Dubai off, just keep their customs in mind. In return, you will get to have a great time in a city that is finally different. If you travel a lot, you know how disappointing it could be to get off a plane in a new city that you heard so much about and everything seems to be exactly the same as when you got on the plane in your city. Head to www.passportkings.com and book a trip to Dubai today. Also download my free ebook called Make Money Online so you can travel more. The explorer that sits inside of all of us will thank you to see how it feels like a king of Passport Kings. Peace.